हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर वन ऑन कव फिटिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी इंट्रोड्यूस द आइडिया ऑफ कव फिटिंग इन द टॉपिक ऑफ लीनियर रिग्रेशन इफ यू रिकॉल इन बेसिक स्टेटिस्टिक्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दिस टॉपिक व्हिच इज रिग्रेशन एंड वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन फिट ए स्ट्रेट लाइन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड रिग्रेशन लाइन टू द गिवन डेटा सो इफ Uh, we can fit a straight line to the given data then that type of regression is called linear regression and if we are fitting a polynomial of degree 1 then that type of regression is called non linear regression so in regression uh, what we are doing we are given the data for values of two variables say x i y i i equal to 1 to n and we try to find out the curve which best fits to the given data so our interest is to find out the curve which is best suitable for the given data if that curve is straight line then the regression is called linear regression otherwise the regression is called non linear regression in basic statistics we have already discussed that how to fit a best suitable straight line to the given data and we have discussed two different ways of fitting a straight line we have used the method of least squares and we have used another method uh, which is using the fact that this line always passes through the point x bar y bar and using the point slope form of straight line we have decided the line of uh, equation of line of regression of y on x and x on y so for fitting a straight line we have two ways method of least squares and this point slope form of the uh, straight line but for fitting a non linear curve uh, we are going to use method of least squares only so first we will discuss how to fit a second degree polynomial or parabola to the given data and then we will see that how to fit this type of curves suppose our curve is in this form a into b raised to x or a into e raised to b x so if it is not a polynomial curve or if it is an exponential type curve then how to find out Uh, best suitable exponential curve from the given data that we will discuss after discussing fitting of second degree polynomial or parabola so in this lecture we are just going to discuss that suppose we are interested in fitting a second degree polynomial or parabola to the given data then what is the method so here we have only one method in our course we are going to use method of least squares and we have introduced this method in the topic of linear regression in which we have obtained the regression line using this method so for what this method says this method says that first you write down the curve or which uh, which curve is required for fitting the given data so suppose we are interested in fitting a parabola of the form y equal to a plus bx plus c x square and suppose we are given the data points x i y i and we are given n pairs 1 to 3 up to n and suppose we want to fit this second degree polynomial or parabola to the given data say y equal to a plus bx plus c x square so how to determine these constants a b and c so what method of least square says that first you have to decide the normal equations now how to write down the normal equations so first normal equation we can write from this equation we apply summation on both sides here we have y so i consider sigma y that is sum of all y values sigma y i i equal to 1 to n equal to sigma a that is n times addition of a with itself 
प्लस सिग्मा बी इंटू एक्स प्लस सिग्मा सी इंटू एक्स स्क्वेर सो दिस आई कैन री राइट एज सिग्मा वाई इक्वल टू हियर वी आर एडिंग ए एन टाइम्स दैट इज ए प्लस ए प्लस ए एन टाइम्स सो दैट विल बी एन टाइम्स ए हियर इन ईच टर्म बी इज कॉमन सिग्मा बी एक्स मीन्स वी हैव बी एक्स वन प्लस बी एक्स टू एंड सो ऑन बी एक्स एन सो वी कैन टेक बी कॉमन एंड हियर वी कैन राइट सिग्मा एक्स दैट इज सम ऑफ ऑल एक्स वैल्यूज सिमिलरली हियर ऑल्सो वी राइट सी टाइम्स सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वेर सो दिस इज फर्स्ट नॉर्मल इक्वेशन टू राइट डाउन सेकेंड नॉर्मल इक्वेशन वॉट वी कैन डू इज वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस इक्वेशन बाय इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल दैट इज एक्स सो वी हैव एक्स वाई इक्वल टू ए इंटू एक्स प्लस बी इंटू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस सी इंटू एक्स क्यूब एंड नाउ वी टेक समेसन ऑन बोथ साइड्स ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सो सेकेंड नॉर्मल इक्वेशन विल बी सिग्मा एक्स इंटू वाई इक्वल टू सिग्मा ए इंटू एक्स दैट नाउ आई डायरेक्टली राइट एज ए टाइम सिग्मा एक्स प्लस सिग्मा बी इंटू एक्स स्क्वेर दैट इज बी टाइम्स सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वेर एंड समेसन ऑफ सी इंटू एक्स क्यूब सी इज कॉमन सी टाइम्स एक्स क्यूब एंड नेक्स्ट नॉर्मल इक्वेशन यू कैन डायरेक्टली राइट by multiplying each of these terms by x inside summation you can multiply by x and you can write down the third normal equation so here i multiply by x and i have sigma x square by same thing here a into x into x that is x square b into x square into x that is x cube c into x cube into x that is x raised to 4 these are the three normal equations required to solve for deciding this coefficients a b and c now this will be a system of linear equation non linear equation sorry it will be a system of linear equations and variables will be a b and c this is going to be a system of linear equations in three variables a b and c so you can solve this system either by cramer's rule or gauss elimination or by trial and error if you have simple equations you can directly solve them if you are not able to solve them directly you can apply gauss elimination method or cramer's rule to solve this system so main thing in this type of problems will be how to solve this linear system sometimes if your values of xi and yi may be large enough so that you will have big numbers in these equations so it is not easy to solve that system in which you have large numbers suppose you have double digit numbers then also it is not comfortable or easy to solve this type of linear systems so in those type of situations what we can do we can change our variable we can apply this type of transformation we can consider u another variable say u and we can write that u equal to x minus some constant similarly we can consider transformation of y also if required and then we will consider the second degree polynomial in new variables say now new variables are v and u so we will write v equal to a plus b u plus c u square and then we will decide constants a b and c and after deciding constant a b and c uh, we will substitute values of x and v, we will put values of u and v in terms of x and y here so this is another way we can change the variable or we can shift the origin if uh, it is comfortable we can apply change of scale also u equal to x minus a over k or h and uh, v equal to y minus b over k and if uh, you are comfortable with y values you can go with uh, change of x only 
and uh, you can decide your parabola so whenever it is not comfortable to solve this type of linear system in original variables x and y we can change the variables x and y or we can change only one variable which is independent variable that is x and we can write down our parabola in this form if i change variable x only i have to find out this equation and after finding a b and c i will substitute value of u in terms of x and i will be able to decide y as a function of x second degree polynomial so this is the way how we can fit a second degree polynomial the method will be clear once we start with the examples so in the next lecture we will see one problem on how to fit a second degree polynomial or parabola to the given data so this is all about this session i hope you like it thanks for watching